This is BigBrotherNetwork.com here with Big Brother House Guest Helen. Helen, tell Big Brother Network readers about you and your background. What about you would have stood out during the casting process to get you here? Oh, a couple of things. Okay, first of all, I'm Helen. I'm a 37-year-old mom of two. Um, I've been working in politics for the last dozen years. So um, I think my political campaign background and um, will help me in this game. Um, a couple of things um, I think helped me in the casting process. Um, one thing, I went through a health issue where um, I had MRSA um, that hit my bloodstream after my second pregnancy and I was very sick and um, I went through a lot of physical pain um, and I, it made me realize how much stronger I am. I didn't realize, I mean, I, I always thought of myself as a wimp, but after going through that, I'm much stronger than most people would, um, would assume about me. So I think that is going to be um, a positive thing in the house because I don't think people can realize my high threshold of pain. I was also put on bed rest during my second pregnancy for over three months where I wasn't allowed to get out of bed. And um, let me just tell you, if I can get through that, I can get through 24 hours of being sequestered if I had to. All right, so on the Big Brother fan scale, are you a complete newbie, casual viewer, hardcore fan? I'm a big fan. Um, I started watching it around season eight because a coworker of mine had told me about it, and she said I would love this show. It's very like it's very much like politics. There's a lot of strategy to it, and and I started watching it with her during lunch, like on the internet, and I got hooked like right away. So, I'm I am playing this game. Um, a little bit for her too because besides myself and my family um, because of her I watched it and um, she recently passed away so I'm playing for her too. Now what made you want to audition well I guess uh, this was part of what made you want to audition mm -hmm. but what uh, what gave you the courage to put yourself on camera 24-7 uh, for everyone to watch? You know I'm at a point in my life that I am who I am I, I love who I am and I'm not afraid to share who I am and I love this game and I want to be a part of it in any way that I can I don't think I ever dreamed I'd be actually sitting here as a house guest I mean when I got the key you know you, you I didn't I never even dreamt about it because I never thought it was anything ever possible so I went out to the open call I went in just because I was I just wanted to see what it was going to be like and I mean Anybody can get on the show. If I'm on the show, anybody can get on the show. So name one trait about you that will help you in this game. One trait. Um, I'm a good negotiator. Um, in, my, in my work history, my professional life, you know, it's all about getting the job done and getting people who have different priorities um, and, and, and needs to focus on what you need to do and, and so that you can be successful. And because I've been able to maneuver that in my professional life, and, in my, you know, like, and just in my life in general, I think those skills will, will help me in the game. All right, so uh, talk about things that are going to help you in the game. Do you have a strategy going into Big Brother? So I think to win Big Brother, first of all, you cannot be afraid of the block. Like, if you play like you're afraid of the block, you're not going to win this game. I mean, no one ever said winning half a million dollars is ever going to be easy. And I actually don't think you deserve it if you don't make it on the block at some points during the game. Um, so I'm going to play very much like that. I mean, my, you know, this is a great experience, and I have a full, I'm very lucky. I have a full, great life. I have a very supportive husband, and I have two wonderful kids. You know, my life doesn't end after this show. Yes, this is a highlight of my life for sure, but I do know um, I'm lucky. I have a full life, and that if I am sent home, that's okay. You know, but I'm going to do my best not to get sent home. I am going to do my best to utilize my time here while I'm here. I am away from my kids my two little kids for a very long amount of time and I don't want that time to be wasted. All right, talking about uh, staying here as long as you can, how far are you willing to go to stay in the game and win Big Brother? Could you do something behind the walls that you might not out in the real world? Uh, you know, that's a great question. I'm already doing stuff right now today, I mean just by like going on the show that I would not normally do in the real world. I've lived a very conservative traditional life. I come from a traditional family. I'm an only child of Korean immigrants, you know, to go on a reality TV show is not probably what they had in their mind for their only child. Um, I think my dad is going to get a kick out of this, um, but um, I am a mom. I'm also a working professional. I have my reputation, and you know, like I said in this game, I'm going to try to do my best to play the most clean and honest game. Now, I don't think stretching the truth is lying, so if I have to stretch the truth here and there, then um, to further myself in the game, I will. But if I am going to vote, if I am not going to vote for somebody, I'm not going to tell them I'm voting for them and go the other way. Unless there's, unless the camera shows that, and then I had to change 
where the camera doesn't show something else. But I'm going to try to be as, as clean as I can be. All right, so imagine this scenario. Your ally's on the block. You're competing for the veto. And to win that power veto and save your ally, would you be willing to accept the following punishment? Oh, boy. <laughs> Burn the clothes you're wearing. Heck yeah. That's nothing. Take a chum bath every hour for a full day. Love chum baths. Bring them on. <laughs> shave your head. See, this one's tough because I just actually donated my hair last year. I've always had long hair, and I cut my, I cut my hair for a good cause, um, and I hated the short hair. So this would be a good cause as well to go completely bald. Um, it depends on the situation, but if it really called for it, yes. All right, eat slot for a week? Oh, yeah. For a month? Yes. All right, and lastly, not be able to compete for next week's HOH. And again, it depends on the situation. How much do I really love my ally? Um, that would be hard to give up. I'd almost rather shave my head. All right, and lastly, mm -hmm. tell our readers at BigBrotherNetwork.com why you are the house guest to root for this season. America, I am like your average girl. I'm, I'm from Virginia. Like, there's nothing extra special about me. I'm just a girl who went and tried out for her favorite show. Vote for me. I'm just like you. And if you love the show, try out too. All right. Thank you, Helen, and good luck. Okay. We'll be watching. Thanks so much.